So we're going to run through a quick proof to show negation introduction. Right? So uh, like some of the other things that we've seen, this is a backward step to do. And so we want to be able to introduce negation inside of a particular part of the formula here. Um, so the example that was used in the lightboard session is that we have P implies Q and not Q as our premises, and we want to be able to deduce not P. Now, uh, negation introduction, again, isn't something that you do in a forward reasoning way. You're introducing this negation here to the formula not P. And so in the backward reasoning step, we find negation introduction, and it makes an assumption uh, in order for us to do this. And so you see the box, the scoped box that it puts in here. It's saying that if we assume P and we're able to arrive at a contradiction, then P must be false, right? Because if we arrive at a contradiction, then there must be something wrong with assuming P in the first place. Um, and so now that we've assumed P, we can use this along with some of our premises to sort of pick apart the formula a bit more. And so we have P implies Q and we're assuming P, so we can use the um, implication elimination to now deduce Q. And since we have as a premise not Q and Q here, we use the negation elimination step to arrive at our contradiction, right? And so this completes the proof here that sort of says, you know, if we want to be able to deduce not P, the first step is to work backwards and say, well, let's assume that P was true and see if we can arrive at a contradiction. And you find here just in a couple of steps, we are able to do that.